Hey everyone, welcome to another edition of the Ionic Show. I'm Ben. And I'm Max. Today we have another awesome lineup of things going on in the Ionic community. So we're gonna be talking about Texter, which is an app that lets you chat in real time with your friends. Chef Steps, which is an app that helps you become a better cook. Waffle.io, a project management tool for GitHub issues that we use here at Ionic and really, really like. The Ionic Creator, a new tool that we're building for Ionic. We're gonna share some previews of that. And then lastly, Collide, which is a new, really simple JavaScript animation engine that we're building for Ionic. We're really, really pumped about that. So, uh, oh, we also have a new homebrew. We'll get to that later. Let's get the show started. All right, first up, Texter. So Texter is an app that lets you chat in real time with your friends. Yeah, so you can invite your friends Chat with them like other message apps, but with some fun, different features. Yeah, so basically, when you're chatting with your friends, they can see what you're typing as you type it in real time. So when you like make a mistake, or literally as you're typing letter by letter, you can see what the other person's typing, or they can see what you're typing, um, which is pretty sweet. It was kind of, I was not expecting it at first when I downloaded the app. I like spam messaged you and, and everyone else here and had you guys download it. But the thing that, the thing that I really like about it is that you can delete messages after you send them. Yes, the holy grail of text messaging. That is right. How many times have you sent a text and then immediately were like, shit, I want to delete this? Every single time. Well, you can do that with this app. <laughs> I don't happen to do it every single time. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, so definitely check Texter out. It's a really sweet app. It's really well designed. Um, I like it. A lot of people here at Ionic like it. Um, yeah. So next up is Chef Steps. So Chef Steps um, is a company that is, their whole mission is to help you become a better chef. So they have like a team of cooks and like award-winning chefs that are curating these um, like tutorials and recipes that you can build, really complicated <coughs> stuff that, or at least it looks complicated at first, um, but what they do is they kind of like demystify how complicated it actually is by showing you step by step um, how to how to build it, which is really really awesome. <clears throat> yeah, like I, I like to I like to say that it's teaching you how to be a real chef, which is a little different than like other recipe sites where you're just learning to cook at home. Uh, there's some tutorials on here that are really really serious, making like you know top quality stuff that you normally wouldn't ever learn how to do at home. Uh, so they have this niche. Um, for really making you a better chef. Mm -hmm. And their app's really, really, really well designed. I'm like, I'm in love with their app. It's really simple. You just scroll through different recipes, click on them, it slides over, it gives you like a, either a video or a few pictures of what, whatever it is that you're making. You can change the amount that you're making. You can do step-by-step -step instructions with photos. It's really, really sweet. Um, so definitely check it out. It's in the app store. It's just called Chef Steps. Um, most, of, most of us here have it. I think so. Sweet. Check it out. So next up is Waffle. Yeah, so Waffle is uh, <clears throat> this really cool service that's basically project management for GitHub issues. So we started to use it uh, at Ionic mainly because we just have so many issues. <laughs> uh, not bugs, but like, you know, there's a lot of discussion going on on GitHub. And it's hard to manage that, uh, especially since Ionic has gotten so popular that we have enough uh, GitHub posts that we need to kind of uh, manage it elsewhere. So Waffle lets you basically put all your GitHub issues into like a Trello board. <clears throat> mm -hmm. uh, it's really fun. You can drag things back and forth. We've got like a backlog, things that we're working on, stuff that needs a reply from a user. Uh, so this helps us categorize everything in a way that labels don't really. This is more visual. Uh, we love Waffle. If you've got a GitHub project that, that's getting a little bit hard to manage, definitely check it out. It's Waffle.io. Yeah, we really, really like it here. We were using it all day today. We like, yeah. we got rid of like, I don't know, almost like a 50, 100 issues or something just put into Waffle. Yeah. Something crazy like that. Um, awesome. Yeah, definitely check Waffle out. <clears throat> so next up is the creator, which we're really, really excited about. Do you want to talk about that a bit? Yeah, so the Ionic creator, uh, for those of you that know our history, is a throwback to kind of our roots. Uh, we have a history of building visual development tools like drag and drop, you know, drag a button on the screen and like you've got a working app. Mm -hmm. So Creator is kind of a, a throwback to that. 
you can really quickly prototype and mock up uh, Ionic apps. You can drag buttons in, you can drag uh, all these different components in. We have a set of ready-made templates for you for setting up different pages. And once you're done, you can export a ready-to-go Cordova app or a binary for iOS and Android and Windows. That's coming later. But uh, it's basically a really, really quick way to just build something and then have a working app ready to go. Um, you'll be able to share it with, with anyone around the world um, and also preview it in different phones. So we're super excited about it. I think it's going to help people get into Ionic a lot faster and also let you try out different designs. Um, and, and it's also like our third intera iteration on making a drag and drop tool, um, like a visual creation tool. And actually this time around, Angular has been like a massive help to us. Yeah. So having built these tools in the past, I know like, you know, the impact that Angular's had is just insane. Like something that would have taken four to five months, if not longer, took less than a month with Angular. So it's had tangible benefits to us just getting this thing done faster, which like you can't really put a price tag on that. Like it's going to get in your hands faster. It's going to be more performant. It's going to be more fun to use. Uh, mm -hmm. Angular kind of shined with the creator and we're really excited about it. So do we want to give an ETA? We've been like really... It's a sensitive it's a subject. It is sen sensitive. We've been... Sometimes we give out ETAs and then we don't meet the ETA and then we feel really bad. Everyone else feels bad. But I feel like we could give an ETA. Yeah, I think realistically the end of August, people will be using it. At least at least beta. At like least beta. beta version, yeah, probably. definitely September. It's coming along. It's really coming together. We just got to put the polish on it. That's the hardest part. So... Uh, Expect it in a month, maybe a month and a half. You always get like 95% done with a project, and it's that 5% that you think is left that's actually like takes you the longest. Yeah, yep. We're in that 5% right now, I feel like. Yep. So, but it's coming along. It's going to be great. So, uh, lastly, we should talk a little bit about Collide. <clears throat> yeah, so Collide is basically our take on a better animation system for mobile and web apps. Uh, basically, we came to the conclusion that I think a lot of people have come to that CSS animations just aren't good enough. Uh, they're really good for like simple things, but once you start building more complicated animation-driven uh, UIs, they're pretty they just, unwieldy. They don't have the same flexibility. Like if you're dragging a side menu over and then you stop it halfway with the CSS animation, it, it like it doesn't know really how to yeah. react, right? You can't really like send the velocity through with the drag. Um, you can't do things like physics animations that are more complicated than a standard easing curve. So with, with Collide, which we're working on right now, and hopefully we'll have out another ETA end of August, early September, yeah. you'll be able to do really complicated uh, animations, but do them very easily. So you can do physics animations, so things that feel like uh, springs, gravity, so you can, you can kind of model gravity, um, and then also uh, things that decay over time based on velocity, so perfect for gestures that, you know, you flick something and then it slows down. So we were really inspired by Facebook Pop, which is a animation library that Facebook put out uh, that came along with their new Facebook paper app that made it really easy to do animations uh, that weren't just simple, like, uh, easing curves, but had physics properties to them. Uh, and we, we felt like the same thing should exist on the web, and that people would actually be able to build more compelling applications uh, if they had a little more control over their animations. So Collide is definitely inspired by Facebook Pop. Uh, we're big fans of it. And... and I think it's important to say that, like, you know, we explicitly chose to go the route of something more simple because I think it makes more sense in this context. I mean, we, we actually built out a full-fledged physics engine to start, yeah. and we realized that it was just so off-rails and, and a bit more complicated than what is even necessary to achieve most of the effects. I'd say like 99% of the effects that people are looking for with their apps. It just made more sense to go with something that was a bit more, not on rails, but, but simplified. Yeah, so I mean, if you look at UIKit Dynamics, which came out in iOS 7, it's just basically like a, a little mini physics system. You lose control of your animations really quickly. Like if a, if a box is colliding with something, it's bouncing around, it flies off the screen, yeah, so Collide kind of came from the physics uh, roots of, of what we did before. Uh, it's just unwieldy. It's, it's too hard to build an application when you have a full power physics engine at your hands. And people don't really want that as proved by Facebook Pop. So we decided to simplify and go that route instead. Yeah, 
So ETA, we're thinking? Yeah, so like we said, ETA, looking at about end of August. Okay. Uh, it's coming along nicely, so I think you'll really enjoy it. Awesome, I'm excited. Yep. Should we talk about the homebrew quick? Sure, sir. Sure. So we've got a strawberry blonde ale, perfect for the summer. Got a little hint of strawberry in it. Uh, served right from the keg here, so I uh, hope you like that. We'll have the recipe at the end. Awesome. Well, I think that wraps it up for this episode, yeah? Yep. Sweet. Well, then hopefully you will join us for the next one. See you next time. Take care.